Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to schedule text messages to go out at a later time on your iPhone. And we're going to do this with an app that came out in iOS 12. So iOS 12, 13, 14 will have it and it's called Shortcuts. And go ahead and look for it in the App Store. So I just jumped into the App Store, got the Shortcuts app, and I'm going to press open on the Shortcuts app. And inside of this Shortcut app, we need a shortcut command. And you could get this from different websites. So let me show you where I get the one to schedule text messages. I'll put a link to this in the description, but Shortcut Gallery has this one called Delayed Time iMessage. And you could get this shortcut as long as you got the shortcut app first. So I'm going to press Get Shortcut here. Again, the link is below to this shortcut. And if you get a message that the shortcut is not trusted, you will have to do one more step. So let me show you that. Go to the Settings app here. And under the settings app, if you come all the way down, now that you have shortcut installed, you'll have this shortcut option under settings, press it. And there's an option that says allow untrusted shortcuts. So if you don't have this turn on, you could only get shortcuts from the shortcut gallery and not from any website. So I'm going to go ahead and allow untrusted shortcuts here and type in my passcode. So now I'm going to go back and get the shortcut one more time and press open. And here it says delayed time iMessage and it's going to tell you everything that it's going to do here with the different scripts that he has. And it says add on trusted shortcut on the bottom. Now if I go back to my shortcuts, it should be there. One more quick thing that you might get an error message on. Let me just show you that. Let's go back to the settings app again. And let's go to the general tab right here under settings. And we want to make sure background app refresh right here. Clicking that and make sure shortcut app right here is refreshing in the background. So let me go all the way down here to the shortcut app and it's on green. So I want to make sure that is turned on over here and it is. So background refresh is not deactivated. Let's go back to the shortcut app finally and let's go ahead and press time delay. Now it says select a contact to message. Works only with cell phone numbers. That's okay. I'm going to press okay on that. And then it's going to give me my contact so I could choose a contact to message. Let me go ahead and choose myself. And then I could type in the message that I want to send, press OK. And then you would choose the date. So if you wanted to send a birthday message, for example, you could choose someone's birthday and then press OK. And if you get any more issues with the permission here, go ahead and press the three dots on the delay time iMessage shortcut here. And then if you go all the way to the bottom, there's an option here that says this shortcut is not allowed to send text messages. So you might have to allow it access sometimes by default this is turned off. So press allow access here and now it could actually send a text message. So press OK. Now you could go ahead and press play on the bottom to go ahead and set this up again. Again, press OK. Choose a contact that you want to send a message to. Type out your message one more time. And that's all you have to do to schedule a text to be sent at a later time on your iPhone. And if you don't want to trust the shortcut app and the shortcut I showed you how to download, there is an app called Yellow and this will send you a notification when it's time to send a message, but you still have to manually send that message. But I do have a video on this app and I'll link to that in the description below where you can basically send a notification to yourself when it's time to send a message to someone so you don't forget. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.